For this video, we are to verify whether the given set, uh, uh, set Z here, the set of integers, is a group under the given binary operation star defined as A star B is equal to AB plus 1. We are already assured here that the operation is binary, but of course, if we would like to uh, remind ourselves, binary, for a star operation to be a binary, first and foremost, the set should be non-empty, and then the uh, ap application of the operation star on the given set, or the said set, is actually closed, okay? But uh, we will not be showing the closure property here. We are just going to uh, proceed to the assumption that it's already a binary operation. And we are just going to show whether this set is a group under the said operation. We have three conditions that should be met in order for us to say that the set of positive integers is a group under the star here as defined. Let's call them G1, G2, and G3. So if any of this will not be satisfied, then of course it's not a group. But if one uh, uh, from one to the other is satisfied, then uh, as long as all three are satisfied, then we can say it's a group. Let's start with G1. G1 is the identification or verification whether star is associative um, in uh, our given set. Okay? We are going to verify whether it's uh, the operation star is associative in the set of positive integers. In order for us to satisfy that, we're going to make sure that we can present the idea of associativity in this manner. The group of A star B, then star C, is equal to A star the group of B star C, where A, B, and C elements of our positive I mean integers, that's Z, okay? So if we could show it, then we proceed to G2, and then we proceed to G3 if possible. So first, let's proceed with the first, the left-hand side, okay? Star C. Using this, we are going to treat it like this here, therefore, it would be the product of the two elements plus B. But this will be still subjected to C. Okay. A star B is given already as AB plus 1, but then again, we are going to subject it to another star operation against a third element C. But this time, we will be treating this as 1. So that means that this A here in the original, this will be taken by the entire expression AB plus 1. In short, it would be the first one, the product of the two. Okay, So it would be AB plus 1 times C. That's a product, so A, B, and then you have to add 1, plus 1, okay? So with this, we are just going to distribute C. You have A, B, C, plus C, plus 1. This is the result for the left-hand side of our associative property. Let's find out if the second side, B, star C, is also uh, equal to that. But of course, here we'll be starting with B and C. There will be just two elements that will be multiplied, then added with 1. So if A star BC plus 1. Okay. So with this here, star BC plus 1, then you will have to take this as one uh, term. It would be our B here. So you will have A times that, BC plus 1. Then you add another 1. So you're getting the product of the two elements as we take this entire binomial expression as one element. Then we add 1. But when we multiply this, you have A, B, C, which is the same as this here. But the second term is A. And the last term is 1, even if the same as here. So even if the first and the third elements are the same, we have an element or not an element, a term rather, on the result that are not the same. We have here C. And that is A in this case. What does this mean? We can say that star is not associative okay, in Z given its definition that A star B is equal to A B plus 1. With this, there's no need for us to go to G2 nor G3. For those of you who would like to know what's G2 and G3, G2 is the um, determination of the identity element for the said, said set using the operation. 
and G3 is the existence of inverse element for all elements in Z under the given operation. So no need for this. Okay, because it just not necessarily a waste of time, but we since we are verifying whether this is a group and the first um, condition has not been met, then we can say that star. Ah, uh, sorry. Let's use uh, the group because we are defining the the set now. This would mean that C is not. Sorry, not a group under the given star operation defined as a star b is equal to a b plus one so again in this case it's not a group and no need to proceed to g2 and g3 thank you very much for watching